look at that. They've, they've been talking so much that they're shrouded in darkness right now. Mm hmm. Well, you know what? Uh, we're going to go back into more um, Sable. We still got some time. What is it? What time is it right now? This is 1226. We got five and a half more hours to play this game before uh, Rourke and I do our special tournament. Uh, but right now, I will be right back. I'm so excited for that, he says. I'm excited for that, too. It's going to be super fun. And it might take us a while. Um, but it is a special tournament uh, that we will do while eating. Because eating is important. Uh, I still have plenty of these to go. Mm. What kind of tournament? We will not say. I feel like we want it to be a surprise, so I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> Maybe go this way. The only thing guiding me in my de destination right now is my compass. I want to open the door and I want to walk into it. This is actually a pretty big city. Oh, this is the guy. Is this the guy? Says he's the. Oh, okay. I have a delivery for you. Uh, Hamza smirks, but his expression is warm. They've got you running errands, eh? I like to keep busy, yes, and I'm a little annoyed. Or people love to give me errands. I personally feel like I should answer it with people love to give me errands. So that's what I'll, that's what I'll do. Mm, yes, that'll happen to gliders. So folks, folks see them. It's having that sort of directionless liberty. That means you aren't interrupting anything if you ask that they fetch something for you.
I'll drop this thing off with Sandeep when it's good and ready. Anything else I can help you with? What happened here? Nemzo explains that this happened a few nights ago. He's got no idea who did it. Could this be related to the power going out? He seems more resigned than concerned about having his workshop ransacked and indicates that he doesn't know who or why someone would do such a thing. I'm not sure I'm convinced by his ignorance, but I'll let it go. You need to see something for a second. Oh, okay. Well done. Anything else I can help you with? <clears throat> what do you want to ask? Any idea what someone must have taken him? He crosses his arm and looks down thinking on him. Power is the lifeblood of everything we do as machine mechanists, and our work exists to uplift the past and secure the future. Power supports the machines, and machines are bound to people. I nod, listening. If you want to take power from people, then you wish to make people powerless. He looks sad at this. So I think you'll be looking for someone who cares little for the common person. Uh, who do you think did it? If I had to say, Ira the Merchant. Ira the Merchant. Iria? You tell him I'm listening and he shuffles his feet, getting closer to me. His voice lowers to a low rumble. I read that an ilk run this town. The markets are, are their locus of control. And they've got their claws in the food stocks. Now imagine, if you will, what happens when the power goes down. Can't imagine a lot. All of a sudden, folks are stockpiling food, and Arya and her lot are hiking up the prices, and there's not a damn thing any of the rest of us can do. You should look into Arya. You'll find her weaving her web of corruption from above the beetle market across the bridge. You'll have to persuade her guard to let you pass, though. Added to my list of suspects. Uh, customize my bike? <laughs> Oh, max speed is higher, but customization is low. I'm not really sure, oh. I can get rid of the balls. Let's get rid of the balls for fun. Oh, and you can't even really tell. There we go. Goodbye. Still too dark out. Look at that skyline though. That's beautiful. Happy little mountains in the background. Cross the bridge this way, or cross the bridge this way. Got a feeling it's this. Oh, there's the peaceful guy. This is also a bridge.
He's got bike parts. Giraffe bike booster. Giraffe bike front. Speedster bike engine. Oh, this guy's got a lot of delivery bike. <laughs> oh, biker outfit. I want to wear a biker outfit. Yeah. Ask around Ekia for more information on the power cut. Look at me, I'm a cool biker. Giving me a shrug. What did I heard? A machinist with a mushroom habit. I just finished talking to him. I don't think he's the guy. Oh, he just finished. You get it? Very funny. Muster a false laugh for him. It almost seems to offend. He waves me off. Done here. This guy's not very helpful. I should check in with Sandy. Maybe you can ask him about the merchant lady. You know. You came to the right glider. Get to the atomic cart, head over to the substation just outside town and follow the power cable that runs through and under the sands. You soon, hopefully with news. Goodbye. <laughs> it's not a door. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Who's this mysterious person? I know how to climb walls. Trust me. Hey, it's a chum. What's up, chum? The light is coming back to the earth. Oh, I knew it was that place. I knew it was this place.
How does one get in? I ask. Oh. No, it's not even on this side. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, you got it. Oh, I'm gliding. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's just a pipe. This is the thing that I'm supposed to go into, but I don't see a door anywhere. supposed to start from over there and then go in? I don't know. This is one of those moments where I'm just going about something wrong again. Typical Bond. Roach! Let's go, buddy. This is how I play Battlefield games. I pick the furthest part of the map and then I run to my death. Oh, there's some smoke over there in the distance. That's probably where we need to go. I don't know why my... I guess you really have to be around your bike in order to call it, because it's just not coming to me. Like I was hoping it would. I, hope, I, I was hoping it would be one of those things that you can just call wherever you are and it would show up, but it was clearly not the case. 
Your bike is dumb. I thought you were journey chirping. <laughs> so, Ossie was saying earlier that this game gives them journey vibes. Guess the chirping is one part of it, definitely. Where is this? Let's go over here. Imagine if this game was co-op and your friend was the bike. Well then my friend just disconnected from the game. <laughs> Do I have any messages logging in? Oh, have a good day. Like the Cappy Co-op Mario Odyssey, yeah. <laughs> Glider, could you help me? My name's Sable, I asked what he needs. It's my friend Micah, he's so obsessed with treasure hunting, finding silly old artifacts. Every week he goes after something new. I ask if he, he's ever found anything. Nothing you wouldn't get from your average scrapper and he'll go bloody anywhere. Caves, cliffs, wherever, with no care for danger. I keep telling him, Micah, be safe, but he doesn't care. He thinks he's invincible. Now he's gone out to God knows where south of here, and he hasn't returned. Oh, I'm so glad you've come along. Can you still, you can still hover, yes? Yes. Days before yesterday, but he usually comes back much quicker. He loves risky climbs, though, that little fool, so watch out for that. If it's somewhere stupid, Micah could be there. Roach! Come on! This is bothering me. I know how far I am, but I really want to get my bike. <laughs> this is going to be like me and dog meat and Fallout 4 all over again. I've told this story before that I was playing Fallout 4 and dog meat was my, um, teammate at the time. And at some point the dog just up and left. And I had no idea where it went. I had no idea where it, like how to get it back to. I even had like one of those little bells in the town hall that you ring to get everybody that belongs in that camp over to you and the dog would never show up. And I'm playing that game for weeks and weeks. I wouldn't even get another uh, assistant with me because I was like sure that the dog was going to show up again. And then eventually it did again. But still, like, the dog was missing for weeks. <laughs> Sit the wall. <laughs> oh, you stupid bike. It hit the wall and it didn't even want to bother with moving. I 
it's just like Homeward Bound. <laughs> Talk's missing, and then it journeys its way home. Yeah. Dogmeat definitely had a Homeward Bound moment. Is that where it stops? I think that's where it stops. Okay. going for a relaxing drive in my sweet biker outfit. Pictures like this would make a sweet wallpaper for my computer. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Hey, I found the map, dude. Over there. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's over there. Typical Assassin's Creed game, you have to climb to the top of the tower just so you can unlock part of the map. what we want. <gasps> this is another face thing. I love the soft pink hue in this area. Oh, this one's a beetle thing. Probably got to put beetles down or something. Just grab this. It's a statue. OK, 
kick it, you can throw it. Sometimes it's like, there's been a couple of times where I threw something. Oh, all right. <gasps> it's a chum. I'll get to the chum later. I'm gonna put this thing down first. This is the easiest mask puzzle so far. Find the thing, put the thing down. I wonder if you're gonna wear a beetle mask. Probably. Crabbed a butterfly just like Zelda. <laughs> that only kind of makes sense to someone. Oh, money. The art style in this game is really wonderful, right? It is fantastic. Like the first hour of playing this game, I was just in awe, like driving the little speeder bike down through the desert and all the colors mashing together with the line art. It's, it's, it's amazing. like somebody who's doing some work though. Some research. Oh, this place is big. Oh, that's just to pick up a bucket. <laughs> That's what I think of your bucket. Ladder to nowhere. But I went if I went up this way. I want to go first person just so I can look at this. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Controls. Show controls. Camera. Oh, there's not. There's a sit button? Hold on. something if it didn't know well sadly this is not on steam I can't just press f12 <laughs> you just get a nice view
This is how I gotta do it. Oh, please let there be enough. Please let there be enough stamina. Oh, oh good. I gotta make it up to this guy. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to be careful here. Because it's more heights shit. Oh, oh, wait, oh. Okay, gotta make sure that my stamina is good. Oh! How dare they do this to me? <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Okay. Okay, this is not great. <laughs> All right, we could do this. We could do this. We could do this. <gasps> oh, here we go. Oh, okay. I better have the money. <laughs> Could, you have to go to the cartographers to buy map pieces from them. You know, a surprising number of people show up here. Between you and me, I think they just want to feel tall. <laughs> Decide immediately that he does not need to know whether that's my reason or not. Can I buy a map? See what I have. What? This guy doesn't even have a map. <laughs> I went all the way up here for nothing. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. This guy. Okay, well. I got scammed. Totally got scammed. Pump for us. You gotta look in there actually, especially if you like mystery. There's a ruined ship in there no one touched for years. And speaking of ruined ships, the whale, I've been to the whale. Oh, there's northeast. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. I can't believe this guy. I'm so mad. I did all of that for nothing. That is not okay. <laughs> That is not okay. Oh, we still gotta find more bug pieces or beetle statue things. sure what this is doing. <laughs> I 
the druid is now in hell. Okay, well, we got out. I just want to collect the pretty bird. Okay, well, there's that. Oh. There's another butterfly. We unintentionally solved this puzzle. We weren't even thinking about it. We just ended up doing it. That's funny to me. Let's put this down for a second though. We can do this. There was clearly another way to get in too. Hmm. I thought that was another butterfly. Get over here, birdie. Okay, one more to get. Where will it be? We've already done that one. I've already done that thing. Suppose there's this left. This way to go. It's funny to me that we're off doing this when we were originally supposed to just go off in a completely different direction and help a dude out with a quest, and we have since just ignored everything. <laughs> favor of Splorin. It's good to splore. I think we have to go over there somewhere. So let's do that. Climb this bad boy. Clouds look like lava lamp. Chum! Hey there, chum. Thirteen eggs and still no idea what they're for. Hey, there we go. Here's the last beetle statue. I just broke it. Monumental stone top. An incredible crafted piece of ritual clothing. It is awkward to wear, but hard to take your eyes off. <laughs> oh, it glows. This is just like that, um... Ancient gear and Breath of the Wild, <laughs> except it glows a different color. Okay, 
Yeah, we gotta make sure we know where we're going so we can get back to our bike and our bike doesn't get lost on us again. All right. Sorry, uh, back in that direction. So we go this Sixteen hours and forty-five minutes left in the stream, and we're still awake. Uh, thank you to everybody that has donated so far. Thanks to everyone who's hanging out today. Uh, there's still quite some left to go to reach our goal. But I think we can get there. I think we can make it. We got time. Got a hell of a lot of time. How do we open this? That didn't work. <laughs> Suppose we have to climb to the top of that thing? Because he gives you a key card, eh? But it doesn't really seem like there's anywhere to put it on. that stage in, in uh, F-Zero. Wow. That's just, that's nothing. Gonna be one of those moments where we crash through the geometry again. Let's do it. Let's break the game. Ugh. No, it doesn't want to. That's fine. Hey, how's it going? Guru? We're doing our uh, extra life stream today. We are trying to figure out how to open this thing. Also, our bike doesn't like to. Uh, what's this extra life? Extra life is a charity stream for kids. Uh, mine in particular. Donations are going towards the PC Children's Hospital Foundation over here in Vancouver. And, you know, helping those kids out, them sick kids, getting money their way. 
It's for the children. The children of the future. Although we don't have much of a future anymore because we're all going to die. <laughs> but at least we'll give those kids a fighting chance. <laughs> oh no, where did my bike go? Oh, there it is. Inspiring speech. Yeah, thanks. I do what I can. Hi, Bell's Camp said his friend Micah has gone missing. I should look for Micah at Thieving Magpie Well. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, I'm going to die. I would pocket the 500 yellow. <laughs> Unfortunately, any uh, money you do no do donate goes directly to them. It does not go to me first and then to them. Um. <laughs> but yes, Aussie, we're all going to die. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stream for another 16 hours and 40 minutes. There's that ticker on the top right corner there that... Uh, is the plan to stay up for that long. We had a bit of a rough start this morning because, spoilers, I only had around two and a half hours of sleep, so I will be surprised if I can stay up the whole 24 or potentially 25 considering daylight uh, savings time change thing bullshit. But, yeah, that's the plan. We're doing this for the first half, and then the second half of the stream is going to be some multiplayer shenanigans with friends and whatnot, and hopefully get some Gardic phone in, at least the big uh, one that I would really love to do with people. The goal is 24 hours total, yes. And each donation given... Uh, you get a chance to request a doodle as well when you donate. It doesn't matter the size of the donation, because any little bit helps. Oh, <gasps> that's where it went? Am I just not paying attention to where these things are supposed to go? I don't think I was actually paying attention all that much. Let's follow this or no wait maybe I was paying attention this whole time and it just goes underground and I'm an idiot anyway because I really don't know where the hell this thing is supposed to come from or go to maybe it is beyond this or no wait this is the other one right there. no that's where I came from what the hell am I saying yeah it wraps around like that that's crazy what Okay, here we go. I found more of it. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure this shit out as I go along, because clearly... Uh, I've been wasting time. Sweet ramp. Some good air. starting to rain. I don't know if it's already been raining for a while, but you can actually hear the droplets. It's basically going to be raining all friggin' week here. Welcome to the Atomic Heart. I feel like the bike does make horse noises. I just, it's got a weird feeling that it does do that. All right. Now we're in the atomic cart. Oh, we really got to sell that scrap metal to that guy so we can get some money. Oh. There's a chum. I'm 
glowing. I feel safe. Felix, the, the physics really do be a little bit funky uh, in this game sometimes. Depending on how you go up a thing, it just launches you. Why have you only slept two hours? I think it's because when I anticipate doing something in the morning, I just can't seem to go to bed. I did sleep little bit earlier in the evening, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm rested, I'm going to bed, and then for some stupid reason, my body just woke up and I haven't been able to get back to bed after that. So I was just laying in bed. But I've always been like that. Always, like, depending on what I'm anticipating, I can't sleep well. <gasps> Play this day. One can see the high window has been smashed. It's wide enough for any grown person to make their way inside. No, they'd need to be quite athletic. Most of the glass is on the outside of the chamber. It may have been smashed from inside. I'm a detective. I'm on the case. So we do this. Ugh. It was pretty annoying. But, unfortunately, it just is what it is. But I think I'll be fine. I got a lot of energy drinks. Looks almost staged. Achievement unlocked. You're the opposite. You sleep through everything all the time. <laughs> Clump of feathers on the floor. I try to picture the bird large and powerful enough to carry away the power core. Aside that it's one suspect, I can absolutely rule it out, though I would very much like to see it. Is there anything else that might be in the area that we can scope? I thought there was, that's, my, that's a mirage. It's, it's just a mirage. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. We can go now. You need to drink them before you get tired and drink one every two to three hours. had my two cups of coffee at least this morning. It seems to have done the trick. You should have seen it the first hour I was playing this game. I was falling asleep at the wheel. The power is back. You yawning like crazy. Yeah. Also, if I'm wide awake, I yawn. I can't really stop yawning. It's just part of my personality. I'm a yawner. I'll try to not do it for the remainder of this stream. It's a lot of fucking hours, though, so 
I'm not sure. I don't think it would be wise to drive this into the lake. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping will happen. There will be some good multiplayer gaming for the latter half of the stream, that's for sure. But that's not for another four and a half hours. We could probably sneak in another um, doodle session before we do uh, any of the multiplayer stuff. That is, if those donations roll in with those requests. Once again, oh! Somebody's like, wow, light, that's inspiring. I got an achievement for that. Just again, it could be anything, and the proceeds go to the kids, the younglings, the chillins. Who are these punks? They're gonna, can't steal. Can I crouch? I can crouch inside. Before, I used to have it set up that you would, um, I made like a bit.ly uh, web address, something like that, to shorten it. Uh, every donation protects one youngling from Anakin. That's right. We have to save all of the younglings from Anakin. And this is the best way to do it. But before, uh, there was a link that I had to send people to. But now they set up a system where it's conveniently a little widget at the bottom of this Twitch page here. They finally were that thoughtful to put something like that together. <laughs> I'm not saying it was uh, Extra Life. It was a third party uh, widget putting that stuff together. It's just nice that somebody put something like that together. It makes it more convenient for everybody involved. I hear the memory of pomegranates to himself as I approach. And he notices me, he climbs up and stands to attention. C can I help you? Uh, I need to speak. You said something about pomegranates. It seems to perk up at the mention of the word. Yes, have you tried one? They sell them in Sarai, outside of town. They are unbelievable, magical. Each seed a burst of watery coolness. He continues to espouse his clear obsession with the fruit, and I noticed my mouth salivating a little. <laughs> Ario is a very important person. I'm not going to let a bothersome glider interrupt your day. It had better be worth my while. I'm going to offer this guy pomegranates, is what I'm going to do. generous man donating to him yes I did thank you for noticing Oh, it's got some weird flickering going on right now. Ooh. Hey there, lonely man. I'm a chime maker called Ayan. 
We chat about Anne's work. Farewell, Glider. <laughs> That's all that is. <laughs> they didn't really want to bother writing that conversation, I guess. He looks too busy to interrupt. Watching him work is mesmerizing. Sands from different parts of the world, forming different colors, textures, and strengths of glass. Uh, when I worked at a restaurant in Edmonton, um, I was talking to one of the chefs, the process of making glass and how it involved sand and very hot temperatures. And he proceeded to take sugar, throw it under a pan and just cook it. <laughs> <laughs> While we were at work, I'm like that's that's not you're not doing it right. That's not how it happens. And then I was also a dishwasher at the time, so I had to clean up after that mess. It was very silly. We gotta talk to that guard guy. But we also gotta go to. Where's that on the map? Not there. Not the atomic heart or the whale. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe we should like scope out this area or something. Find that place. Get some pomegranates. Apparently you can grow pomegranates in the desert. You did a brilliant job getting the power back. Oh, I don't know if you could hear it, but there was a tremendous noise. The whole town was delighted. All day's work. Your work is appreciated and you are valued. Now! About our little investigation. Any useful evidence? Discuss physical evidence. The window was smashed. What did you find when you searched the heart? There was a feather on the floor. And I say it might have been an accident, and then I pause a moment with some drama and whisper that it could also have been a calling card. Then he crosses his arms, nodding furiously. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. In addition, Wallace, even such as myself, who decidedly not an expert, was it that whoever removed the core knew what they were doing and didn't want to damage it? Sandeep seems like to like the sound of this. Discuss something else. Review suspects. He owed money. He hates atomic technology. He's the guy that says whoever has the power, something power, 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 power. <laughs> He's in debt to the merchants. They sent people to ransack his workshop to frighten him from paying up. He understands machines. That doesn't make him guilty. He's a machinist. What do you want to discuss? Merchant Ira. Ira is very powerful. We had very hard times building a strong case against her. What's her motive? To profit from the panic. Yes, people have definitely been stocking up since it happened. How did she do it? She got someone else to do it. Well, I can't imagine her doing it herself, and she has an alibi. Who do you want to discuss? It was a group. <laughs> What's the motive? I think we gotta check out this other place. That's what I think. Didn't mean to do that.
Oh! There's some pomegranates right there. Well, I know who to go back to now. It's easy to get lost in this place though, that's for sure. Customize my bike. I wish I knew what my bike looked like when I was doing that. Where are we going? This is what I was talking about, about getting lost. Here's the guy that wants pomegranates. I need to speak to Ira. <laughs> oh, Rohana, this is beautiful. Thank you, sir. This is a random dude. If I were as surprised, happy, or displeased to see me, it's hard to tell. The guard by her side tenses up as I approach, but Ira signals to them and they relax. My presence is permitted for now. So we got past Yanis. Was it a pomegranate or just good old fashioned cuts? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Well, you're here now. Yes? There's questions about the power cup. Uh, five minutes and then I want you gone. See what you're going to say at the beginning of your speech and it comes like the hiss of a viper. Two reasons I can imagine. One, because they have something to gain from bringing the town to its knees. Two, because power cars fetch a substantial price in illegal markets. Could be one of those, or could be both. I don't know. Where were you when the power was cut? Feel her eyes narrow on me. I imagine the drag of her tongue along upper teeth. She dislikes me very much. I will ignore the implications of that question, friend. But I was here in the market. Ask if you'd like. Any of the guards will vouch for me. Who do you think did it? Some low life from Syria, Syria, probably that climber fellow, Garay. They say he's, you know, one to speak to when the job needs doing, though he's not exactly what I'd call discreet. Fellow like that, he won't be the brains behind it, but if I was a scummy little nobody, he'd be the person I'd hire to get the work done. I'm told you can find him under the bridge outside the town gate. 
Oh, that guy, huh? Stinky guy with the chameleon head. That's a guy. Oh, I was going to get stuck again. Oh, it's so easy to climb against the wall. I totally forgot where my bike is. Is it in the front here? Well, that might be the guy, so let's just talk to him again with our newfound information, see what happens. Cafe. All right, I got a little scrap. This is what you want to hear. Nothing to do with anything. Probably not your business. Sure. Had a fight. Power went out. Broke it up. End of story. I got nothing else. I had a big sale going down at Sarai recently. Shrugs. Blah, blah, blah. Because okay. he accused the machinist of doing it. The machinist accused the merchant lady, and the merchant lady accused that guy. So three people all accusing each other, and nobody's accusing, no two people are accusing the same person. So this is gonna be a bit difficult. Review the suspects. Let's get through the chase. Let's get through the case against Gray. What's his motive? He sold it. Bad reputation. Asaria, people say he'd do anything for money. This is a good lead. How'd he do it? He climbed. He's a climber. He climbed. <laughs> <laughs> I would just put two and two together like that, huh? I don't see how it could be anything else. <laughs> Climbers be climbing, that's right. It's possible. I'm surprised he managed it with the slippery metal surface of the atomic heart. Make an accusation. It's the climber. No surprise. Take that. Point the finger at a suspect. That's the that's the achievement. <laughs> Point the finger at someone. Townsfolk constantly. They resent the comfort and luxuries we have in this area. As the tip of the iceberg, I'm sure the sooner we can find a way to rid the town of the scum, the better. It's about time that low life guy was coming to him. Uh, enjoy talking him, taking him to the jailhouse outside of town. After that, the witness can educate his fate. They won't be favorable to a Sarai, that's for sure. I feel like I may have unleashed some underlying tension. I can only hope it's not something I come to regret. <laughs> Thank you for this. <laughs> oh no! What have we done? What have we done?
There's still a matter of the guy that's like... This thing. And according to, it's just like, man showed me the mark of the shade. He told me to head to the town gate and look for the mark. It will lead me to the mask of the shade. Unless it's that thing. Let's talk to him again. Farewell glider. That's not, that doesn't help me. Because if that's the mark of the shade, it's over there. But that could also be it. This is a disaster. He still wants his tea. It's still so expensive. something over here. Wait a minute. Oh. It just looked like someone was hanging. Maple! Hello! Good day to you! This is Sable. It is a very delightful looking game about exploration, being your own boss. <laughs> Not so much being your own boss as now, it's like a coming of, it's a coming of age story about your character who I'm pretty sure is a young girl and she um, part of a tradition amongst the village is that once you reach a certain point in your life you put on a mask and you go out on your own kind of pilgrimage and when you go out on your pilgrimage your clan just gets up and leaves without you so even if you wanted to go back to your clan, you would have to like find where they are. And while you're finding uh, out where they would be, you're essentially also just going on this pilgrimage and carving your own destination and whatnot. It's, it's a very cool concept because it's very um, human. It's very relatable, you know, when everybody turns a certain age, they want to get out of the house and do their own thing. Very relatable. <laughs> Is that a camel?
And also, the art style is amazing. Yes, the art style is amazing. Uh, it is on Game Pass, so if you still have a Game Pass subscription, it's a really uh, easy thing to check out. I'm uh, quite sure they are entertained, nervous, or mocking. I decided not to say, you're a glider! Yes, indeed. I get excited at this, and I make small sound amongst themselves. I find gliders thrilling, too, when I was a child. But somehow I feel slightly like an imposter, a little bit proud. Oh, I think I do. Might have actually just expired yesterday. <laughs> oh no. That's a fancy camel. Do you want to play a game with us? Sure. Yay, the game is hide and seek. I played quite a bit. <laughs> Good, you're it. We'll go hide and you have to find us. Tell them to wait. Once I, the great worldly wise glider, cunningly track them down, how can I call them out if I don't know their names? Uh, don't be so sure you'll find us. This is our town, remember? Well, anyway, I'm Paula. I'm Jeff! And I'm Nez. Hello, Jeff! I tell them my own name and then Paulo points at me. Are you ready, Sable? You have to close your eyes and count to 100. No peeking and no skipping. And count slowly. Start counting. 1, 2, 3, 57, 58, 97, 98, 99, 100. Glide and seek. I need to find Nez. I hope I find Jeff first. Well, any good glider starts from the top. I'm just looking at which side is actually going to give us um, There we go. Going that way. But yes, welcome to the stream, Maple. She says, "Be right back." <laughs> I was gonna go into a whole spiel. I can wait. We gotta look for some kids. Some of them kitties. Sixteen hour hype. Well, I'd be lying if I if I said I wasn't tired because I've basically been tired from the beginning. But it's been manageable. Um, I do wonder how I'm going to. Make the whole 24 hours? I think that would be a miracle in itself. I think back to when um, Dolph did his, what, like 30 hour stream or something like that? His 24 plus, I think it was like four extra hours or some something crazy like that. And how he managed to do it. Like he managed to do it. He pulled through all the way. So it's commendable. I think if he can do something like that, then I can definitely do 24 hours on two and a half hours sleep. That's a lot of hype emotes. I should make a hype emote. So, uh, I don't know if this is for everybody else, but it recently unlocked for me as an affiliate. Um... The follow emotes have happened uh, for me. So 
I get five extra. I get five bonus emotes to give to people who are just following me. I don't have any yet, but obviously we'll work on that stuff. So maybe, just maybe, I should make a hype emote for that. A hype and a high and a. Sharvanara introduces herself. She is the atomic priest. What are those? The purple kitty. <laughs> Suppose they're right because I am. Glider, we have a task for you if you're able and interested. Gliders tend to be interested in tasks. Child, I've been both fearful and fascinated watching them go by in their mysterious business and making up all kinds of things about them in my head. Hypomote is a good staple. There you go. I understand that they are in order like any other, only more severe, more insular, and dedicated to collective caution in a way that it increasingly feels more like paranoia than reason. Still, I do mostly like a task. <laughs> are, you, are you familiar with Lenore the Fabulous? I tell the priest I've never heard of L L Lenore the Fabulous. He was the perfect task for you because you will know Lenore the Fabulous at its end. Sounds reasonable. I asked what the task is. We need you to find the lore, and when you do, convey that we would like to invite her back to Assyria. We miss her quite a lot, in fact. Maybe the most emotion I've heard from a member of the priesthood seems quite legitimate. I wonder what sort of relationship the lore has with them. So tell me more. She's been amongst the strongest voices, turning... Warning into whimsy and safety into song. She speaks the language of the common to convey the words of the wise. Where do you think Lelore is? If you weren't sure where to start, it'd be wise to speak with innkeepers at beetle camps. Lelore carries our messages all across the world. I thank them for advice. Wave goodbye. Farewell. My dear Lelore. Uh, I am trying to find children. I've distracted myself to the point where I don't think I'm ever going to find these children. Because I was going to take the high ground. And then just kind of... Doing a thing here. Is there any children in the water? Are there any children currently drowning in the water? Hi there, I'm Tedge. I like your bike. Can you also hover? Of course. I wish I could do that. Uh, patience, your time will come. Think how excited I once was to learn all of this, to open myself to the perpetual on how the gift of the gliding finally came. It was all at the cost of a goodbye that was so difficult to make. I know I'll do it someday, but that's in forever. I need it now. Look down at them. I know if they were so young, I'd be thrilled at the opportunity to meet a stranger with a bike. Endless freedom and the ability to move in new and exciting ways. Inaccessible to me. I ask them why they're so intent on doing it now. Because I want to go over there, across the oasis, and I can't. Because I have a big, beautiful, perfectly lovely flower right in the middle of it, on a big rock, and I want it so, 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 so much. Oh, maybe you could put me on your back. I'm not sure I'm that strong. I decline hating the sag in their shoulders. Meaning that while I can't allow them to ride with me, I would be more than happy to get his flower. The glee is returned. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Bring it back here. We're just getting quest after quest in this town. This must have been the place to be. Clearly, this is a happening spot. Did I already get this? Yes, I did.
Is there children in this bucket? <laughs> Not anymore. Days will go by, the kids are still hiding somewhere, and then they just die of starvation. Oh, this guy hasn't found me yet, so oh, no. No. I've already given you. I'm not made of the money. I found Jeff. He wasn't even hiding. He was just standing next to a box. <laughs> With his shoulders slumped over. Hiding in plain sight. They're like, wow, I was really hoping this glider would be blind. I bet if I was counting to 110, he would have been able to hide. 100 just wasn't enough time for him. That's what I expect out of a Jeff. This a dead end. Wouldn't that be fun if I also found that mask at the same time? Like the first quest that I queued for showing up at this place. Just find it by accident, not at all looking for it whatsoever. <sighs> Come on, if Jeff was easy to find, then the other kids better be easy to find. This is the beetle market. in here you're a child that would be funny if a kid was just like hanging out on behind her I'm sure that merchant lady would be mad irritated Mad irritated. <laughs> 
tell you what, these kids, man. <laughs> Not ideal. Hey, it's a bucket. Just bouncing up and down. Really bouncy water. Yeah, at least it lets you do that. Hmm, since we've already been in this area, let's swim to the other side, see what that's about. I'm Spider Man. Barrel's got a mind of its own. Made from Hakoan metals, the light of those metals is unparalleled, announcing nimble movement and strong resistance in combat. Sweet, I got some dank pants. Is there any children? Excuse me, children, have you seen yourselves somewhere? Hashtag for the kids. Gotta find the kids for the kids. I would like to trade with you. Oh yeah, this is the guy with the stuff. Delivery bike front. Delivery bike engine carefully sprung. Oh, I don't have enough money. See you, Glada. Take care. Kids are elusive. Have we even explored every year? I feel like we have. And Jeff is the only one that we found. Is Jeff just not good at hide and seek? Is that why his name is Jeff?
Oh, we made the water dirty. Oh, we're making the water dirty. Jeffs are just not good at hide and seek. Kids stole your bike and rode off to the Gerudo Valley. <laughs> Possibly. I would not be surprised. Those little punks. Okay, we've definitely been here before, though. Yeah, this is the priest person. Oh, who are you? time is it? Oh my god, it's 2.15. And it's raining like crazy. Okay, fun fact. Um, the air vent in the bathroom. I noticed it leaking one day, but we don't have to worry about putting a bucket underneath the leak because it's right over top of the toilet. <laughs> I found this! Get wrecked, Nez. Now we just gotta find Pala. from there because that's where Nez was. The way he climbed up that thing was a little bit rough. been here before I 
Time for me to go make something to eat. Uh, we'll be back later. Hell yeah. Oh man, I gotta start thinking about that. What should we eat? Obviously we should order some food. But what? Plenty of time to think about that right now. We could go for a burger, we could go for a pizza. I think if we do the pizza thing, that's food that we can continue to eat. A burger is just like, it's done. <laughs> when you eat it. There's no more, it's just the one thing. You can't slice it up into six pieces and save some for later, because that's just a tiny bit of food. So. Yeah, I think we should probably do a pizza. What are you thinking? I would be into pizza. What kind of pizza? We should obviously go for a pizza that you can eat. Uh, there's a new place that I uh, get a pizza from. Oh yeah? Village's Pizza. Village's Pizza. Yeah. Uh, Holy Crust. Okay. I'm down for anything. You're in charge because it's what's right for you. <laughs> <laughs> I did the whole holy crust. Everything else is good. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. No, I, I mean I'm down for just a new pizza place in general. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll go half these on it. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll look into it. yeah, I was thinking, like, if anything, probably just get, like, one extra large, but if there's deals, then, yeah, go for it. See what we can find. This hurts my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're still not on. I'm still, I'm almost out. Yeah, when when you join, I'll probably just scooch over on this side and you're over on that side, and I'll, I'll bring the camera back a little bit. Uh, but for now, <laughs> this has really just turned into a relaxing stream about trying to find a child. I feel like I've explored everywhere. Oh, I can buy clothes. <gasps> No, oh, I'm just short. Shoot. I don't know why the cursor disappeared for there. That's weird. That's a chicken. <laughs> this person's still begging for money. 
I'm sorry, I'm getting poor because I'm spending my money. Okay, we, these are the two kids. They're like, hide and seek is boring. It's because I've taken forever, that's why. Help me find your friend, and then we'll end this. End your lives. I mean, I gotta find this kid, because I would feel really bad about, you know, just finding two out of three children and then moving on with my life. <laughs> spot he's where's the third child that's the machinist going around in circles right now and I apologize but <sighs> we got to cover these bases you don't know where these kids go 